and welcome to the Top 10 Planes for Kerbal Space Program. This is um, the number 10 plane, which is in fact called the Light Ray. It is not a very good plane, which is why it's number 10. It just... I bet you could get it to a really high speed if you were amazing at flying, which I'm not. Or you had mech chip, I guess. But... Yeah, this is not the best at flying. Let's just say that. It has pretty much no wingspan, has no gliding, and it doesn't really work as a plane. It works as something that almost looks good. It's pretty good. Some people are in my house and doing stuff. Yep, um it's you have to turn SAS on for um, la um, flying it and pretty much everything. So it's the worst plane I've ever used. Number nine. Yes, number nine is a pretty cool plane. It's called X4. It has quite a lot of wingspan. Um, yep. It has some. Um, I guess that's steadying wings on the side. It's got quite a bit of wingspan. It's got two engines. And it's much better at flying than the other one which is called the other one that is the light ray which is rubbish this one is particularly bad at pretty much everything so yeah num number eight now in just a second number eight which is gonna be the wyvern single stage to orbit that's how it's spelled I think that's W-Y-V-Vivern, right? Um, yep. Single staged orbit plane, pretty decent at flying. It is possibly the best single staged orbit I've ever played with, but I haven't played with that many. Yeah, this is... I don't actually use space planes to get into orbit. Don't see the point. I'm sure some other people see the point, but not me. Yep. I'm not watching this in a very high resolution. This is the preview window, but I have to just watch it on the preview window. Or I have to render the video and then watch that, which takes much longer. But yeah, it doesn't affect your quality, it affects mine. And yeah. Okay, I'm just testing out now how well it does at getting back under control after I do some maneuvers. And it is alright. Now turn the camera view to chase view. So, because I find chase view easier to use for space planes. Because it means that, you know, you get your bearings slightly better. And yeah. Okay. And we're just trying not to crash, which isn't very easy with this. And in the end, I just crash into the ground right now. Number seven, which is going to be called the APPS Colorado El, El, El Dorado APSS. It is. It has black wings. I don't know how someone managed to do that, but yeah, it someone managed to make it with black wings which is pretty decent uh... yeah it's a decent single it, it has much more functionality than the wyvern single stage to orbit it goes to orbit and it's a VTOL and it has air breathing engines and you can fly it pretty decently it's better than lots of planes it has a pretty high top speed but it has black wings how did they manage to get black wings? I seriously don't know. Maybe it's a texture bug. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, if if anyone watching this designs a plane with black wings, please tell me how you do it, because it's pretty cool how it has black wings. I r did I mention I like the black wings? Because uh. in Kerbal Space Program, you only have white wings. Why didn't I not give myself any way of any form of drink? Number six. It is the XB 
789 d into Kerbin. It is a very, very big plane with a high, very high part count. It's like over 200, which means it lags your game. It is a very nice plane. It flies really well. It lags. And um, there's quite a few, like, little stops in this. It does get off the launch pad first time, which I was surprised with. It flies, it flies amazingly well for such a big plane. But, and it has a ton of fuel. It has everything you want, pretty much. And, yep, there's no cockpit view. It has, I think that's a docking port on the back. Yeah, it's a docking port on the back. Lots of your control, lots of stabilization. It's not very twitchy, even though it has a ton of control surfaces. It's a big plane, and big planes go slower, but are kind of more stable. Smaller planes are more maneuverable and faster. So if you want a cool plane, get a small one. If you want a functional plane, get a small one or a big one. If you want a stable plane, get a big one. There we go. Difference between number one plane, number two plane, and number three plane. Okay. Now we're just landing. I'm testing out the gliding capabilities, which are alright. We don't actually land, which is kind of embarrassing. It has eight engines. You'd think it would be faster than this. But it it's not. It's really not. Because of just reasons of lots of things put together and yeah and we don't land and all the kerbals die sadly sorry about that guys looking at this thing and it crashes into the ground if that actually landed it would be good number five the sky sprite this thing just it's not even that good a plane it just look at it right it's a circle that flies it's a flying circle what more could you want like seriously, it is the, it's, it's not, it's not the world's greatest plane, it's not the world's worst plane. It's pretty stable actually for a plane, which is entirely circular. Um, yeah, yeah, a, a, an entire circular plane would have amazing gliding capabilities. It would be very good at your, oh no, spinning. And yeah, I just, it's so maneuverable. It's a small plane, like I said, small planes are fast and maneuverable, which is what you want. Yep, and then um, I try it one more time and I die. Number five! Now we're into the top five planes, which is the Skyrider Eagle. This thing glides, and it doesn't have a very fast engine, it doesn't have a ton of fuel, but it glides the best glider I've ever seen. And it's it's not too big. It is very fast, but it just it's made for gliding, right? We just glide, and this with is with zero thrust, zero thrust on, and yeah, it's just like do. It's so maneuverable, so good at gliding. It is possibly a great plane. It's possibly one of the best planes. Number three is the Raptor 15S fighter jet. I had to put this in the top three or people would complain because it's such a good plane. Uh, yeah, black screen. It has two engines and it has a ton of firepower. Yeah, this thing is kind of a beast. It's, um, I'm trying to bomb stuff, but it didn't really, I didn't really get to bomb anything. But if you just look at the bottom right there, you can see how many, um, tanks of stuff they've got that bomb it bombs things it sets rockets off and yeah i tried again i just saw because they were all bound to action groups so i could just go and there's so many um things and there was so many weapons i was really impressed with this it's pretty cool trying to land is a hard bit Yes, and I actually did it. Sort of. I got onto the floor. Ironically, I put out the ladder. Right, number two. 
Number two is a really, really nice plane. It's the HL Hang Glider. Guess what it does? It's a Hang Glider. It's kind of like a biplane, and then you are... You kind of have to get out the plane midair and then jump into it. It's a really, really nicely built plane. It's really balanced, and you could just imagine putting it on top of a rocket ship. Yep, I fell out. So you kind of have to get in before you launch, into the seat before you launch the plane, and then con and then there we go. And then we just, I'm just testing out the glider, pretty much, going as high as in I can, and then just dropping, and then realizing that that the of the glider is a different bit of the plane. So, yeah, it doesn't automatically go to the glider, which is kind of a con, but a con as in pros and cons. It It is a really nice plane. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say. It's really nicely built. It's really nicely done. Well done to whoever made the hang glider. I tried to land it on the runway. We're going too fast. And then, yeah, just that... Right, that radio the cup look exploded. It didn't really explode properly. And now number one. This is possibly the best plane ever. The inter interplanetary ring. What? Okay, well this is obviously number one. I guess I can't really change it. Um yeah. This is a really nicely built plane. It's kind of a plane, right? Um yeah, apart from it doesn't get off the launch pad. Uh, who was... Oh. oh, we're just kidding then. That's fine. It's the crossbow, obviously. This has the fewest part count out of all of the planes today. But it is just a really fun to fly. It is amazing, right? Yeah. It just flies like a really nice plane. It glides. It is so maneuverable. Sorry. Um, burp. Burps. Why do I have to burp? I don't really should burp in real life. Yeah, this thing is awesome. If only I had some action music. But I don't. Because, yeah. This has already taken so long to edit. I had to just do that again. I usually wouldn't. But this is just an awesome plane. Like, seriously, look at this. Look at this pro skills. <laughs> You just feel so awesome when you're when you're flying this plane. Seriously, if you, I, I recommend this plane to any new player because it's so it's so easy to fly, and if you're a pro player, try and do some awesome stunts with it. I'm not a pro player. I'm really, really, I'm rubbish. But yeah, thanks for watching the top ten cable space program pl planes. Other content like this will come out if this video gets enough likes. Um, yep. Yeah. So, also, this is one of the, like, subscribe to the channel if you like this video. Don't have to, obviously. I'm just seeing how high I can fly this. Because it's only got one intake. But, yeah, it flies ridiculously flat, fast. It's really easy to land. I've played it for so long. And yeah, it just is an amazing plane. Um, obviously, there might be another plane. Tell me in the comments section if you have a better plane. I will be doing um, best plane of the week series. Hopefully, depending on a lot of things, but I'm guess I'm hoping I will. Um, yeah, thrust down to zero. Testing the gliding and the gliding on this thing is immense yep just I'm totally blown away with this ship yep it's got the fewest part count it's got like 17 parts but that just goes to show that smaller planes can be better than big planes and it probably didn't take very long okay um yeah we just got our thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Goodbye.